Welcome to another love reading of yours. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If it is a general reading, guys, this may or may not resonate with every Taurus watching this video. Some of the energies of the cards here can be flipped, so feel free to switch those energies, vice versa. Time is fluid, as you know, you could have dealt with this energy or you'll be dealing with in the near future. If you do need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down and below. Nine of Cups in reverse. What is going on on Taurus's mind? King of Swords. Communication. What's going on on the mind of the person that Taurus is dealing with? What's going on in the mind of the person that Taurus is dealing with in love? King of Cups. Two Kings. What I like about this is that both are Kings. Which means that there is a maturity level out here, okay? But you're both unhappy right now. Maybe this one person is with the King of Cups and the King of Swords here. There's a lot of, one person feels the need to have clear cut communication and one person is wanting a lot of emotional fulfillment is what I'm getting, okay? So there is, the, the person out here with the King of Cups here, there's a lot of love, but they're just not showing it. This person's mastered their emotions, okay? They're trusting their intuition. But yeah, this is not the best person who will show you how much they love you. They can love you to the moon and back, but they're still not going to show it to you. But the King of Swords here, this is so contradictory. This energy is cold, detached, I see. This one's so loving, but at the same time, they're acting detached or they're acting like, they're just not ready to show their love. But there is a lot of love. Alright, what is the mutual energy between Taurus and the person you're dealing with? What is the mutual energy of the person you're Taurus is dealing with? Nine of Pentacles in reverse. What's going on in Taurus's emotions? Two of cups in reverse. What's going on in the emotions of the person that Taurus is dealing with? What's going on in the emotions of the person that Taurus is dealing with? Too many cards. Give me one card for what's going on in the person's emotions that Taurus is dealing with in love. love between you guys but you're just not seeing eye to eye with this person okay there's some kind of disconnection some kind of you guys not on the same page for some reason okay and this person is procrastinating they want to talk but they're holding back they're either they're not investing into this connection or this person is holding back on purpose okay they're making things more harder than they seem but yeah someone's this for this side procrastinating okay um what is Taurus's attitude towards the person or the situation? What is the attitude? What is your, what is Taurus's attitude towards the person they are dealing with and love? What is Taurus's attitude? It says one card, and I don't know why should be taking two cards. Still one card. Give me one card, please. What is Taurus's attitude towards the situation or person they are dealing with? See, Knight of Swords in reverse, holding back communication. What is this person's attitude towards Taurus or the situation? What is this person's attitude? What is the likely outcome between Taurus and the person they're dealing with in love? What is the likely outcome? What is the likely outcome between Taurus and the person they're dealing with in love? What is the likely outcome between Taurus and the person they're dealing with in love, please? Give me one card. Give me one card, please. Give me one card. Give me one card for the likely outcome. Let's just go through the overall situation. 100%, there's a lot of luck on both sides, okay? First, let's just, first things first, there's a lot of luck on both sides. One person's wanting to be very logical, one person's being very emotional, okay? 
Overall, there's a lot of emotional unhappiness within the situation. Either this is like a wish that's not been granted, or this is just an emo this is just a situation which is draining you both out emotionally. In your emotions, you're not being able to see eye to eye. Like I said, okay, there is a lot of love here. Okay, this is like the two of cups, right? This is a very strong soulmate connection. Okay, it's a very good connection. You never want to fuck this up, right? But with the two of cups in reverse here, you feel that there is a lack of reunion or there is a delay in a reunion. Okay, again, because you guys are not on the same page. This person probably wants to come and make a move. They want to come and talk to you, okay? But for some reason, they're holding back. They have a lot of love for you, Taurus. So if this person's acting, um, as if like you know i mean they have a lot of love for you but if they're not talking to you don't worry they still love you they love you a lot okay the mutual energy is you both are very codependent on each other okay if not both of you it is one of you okay so i am thinking that one person really 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 wants this relationship okay? while the other person is feeling very disconnected from this we'll find out why you know what i'm also getting this could be where one person was always being very very logical and the other person is always being very emotional and I feel the sides are flipped. We'll see. Uh, the attitude you have towards this person towards is that you're holding back. If you could have had a chance, you could talk to them now. You could say things that you always want to say or you're holding back too much. That's one of the reasons why there's a lack of forward moment here. Okay, Knight of Souls in reverse is yes, it is someone who's being a coward or this is someone who's missing opportunities only because they have fear of what's going to happen next or they just have fear or they just don't feel ready to communicate right now but communication is very much on your mind okay but you're just feeling disconnected we'll find out this person they definitely want a brand new beginning with you okay with ace of pentacles here we'll see or it could just be a brand new beginning somewhere else because this person is not communicating but they have a lot of luck for you we'll see. all right clarify the night uh clarify the current situation why is the nine of cups in reverse and the Knight of Cups in reverse. Eight of Wands. So someone wants to communicate. Someone wants forward moment. But there's a lot of holding back. A lot of holding back. Eight of Wands, that's forward moment, okay? One of you is constantly manifesting. It could even be both of you. You're both in the upright. But it's just that, you know, Pentacles in reverse. There could be a situation where there's a lack of commitment or you could have ended a long-term commitment. All right. What is this King of Swords here? What is this King of Swords here? Hermit in Reverse. So I think that you are wanting to see things very, very logically, Taurus, okay, with the Hermit in Reverse here. Either you've isolated yourself too much, or there is some kind of epiphany, some kind of an epiphany or something that you've come to realization with, okay? You probably would have isolated yourself, you've gone within and tried to find answers about what's exactly going on. And now you're wanting to come out of isolation and wanting to have a truthful communication, uh, communication or wanting to be very, very logical and uh, to the point, okay? This is cutting through the bullshit. What is the hermit in reverse? See, I told you, you you, you come to a realization about something, you've isolated yourself for a good time and now you really, really want to communicate and you want to speak your truth is what I'm getting, okay? And what we are through is the Ace of Wands, you want a brand new beginning with this person. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, it's like you both want the same thing. You both want the same thing. I don't know. Alright, what is the King of Cups on this side? Just a lot of holding back. Not like a very big issue here, but it's like you know what your current energies you're both very mature. But when it comes, you know, you're logically you both are very very mature. Okay, if this person is master of their emotions, their their head and heart are both in balance. Okay, they're not overdoing something, they're not underdoing it. If that's even a word, this person is very logical. Okay, but at the same time, this person again, you know what I'm getting? King of Swords and King of Cups. The, the common energy out here I see is that they both are not good at expressing their emotions. Okay, King of Cups again, this could be someone who can love you to the moon and back, but still they're not showing you how much they love you. King of Swords, definitely the worst person if you're exp if you're wanting this person to express any emotions to you, okay? But yeah, they want this with you. You're just both not showing how much you guys love each other, but you do a lot. It's just a matter of an approach towards the situation. Why is the King of Cups here? Not the King of Cups. Because you're trapped in your head with the Eight of Swords here. There is a situation that you're overthinking, okay? And that situation doesn't really exist, okay? 
Taurus cross watcher. Whoever, this is my Taurus. This is the cross watcher. You can flip the sides, all right? But yeah, King of Cups. You're not ready. This side is not ready. To someone's not ready to show their love, or they have a lot of love, but they're choosing to keep quiet about it because they're stuck in their head. Eight of Swords. What is this Eight of Swords? This is someone thinking very negatively. Oh, it's not going to work out. What's the point? You guys could have been separated or breaking up, okay? Because with the Two of Cups and reversing the emotions, I feel there is some kind of separation or um, someone's mentally distanced themselves from the other person. What is the Eight of Swords? Back at the Eight of Swords. Back at the Eight of Swords. Two of Swords in reverse because you want a reconciliation, but you're trying to heal and recover from a heartbreak or a heartache. Okay, this is someone who's cut you through deep. This this emo this breakup, separation, divorce, whatever. Right? It has really really shaken you from the core. And now you want to heal from this situation. I think with the Eight of Swords here, you know what? Yes, the Eight of Swords does mean that it is someone who's, you know, feeling very tired, bound and stuck to a situation. You know what I feel here, Taurus? This person, they love you a lot, but they're choosing. They're choosing to keep their hands tied. They're choosing not to see a situation. They can do something about it, but this person is intentionally choosing not to do anything. They're, they're literally saying, you know what, my hands are tied, I can't do anything about this, okay? So yeah, this person could come up, come out to you as come up to you as someone very cold, very detached. You feel like what the hell? I mean, like, are we? I mean, does this person even love me? I mean, like I said, right? King of Cups. This is someone who's mastered their emotions. They can literally manipulate you, and you wouldn't even know whether this person loves you or not because they wouldn't show it to you. But this person, I think, this person not doing anything because they're trying. They're taking time to heal from the separation or breakup. Okay, so Taurus. They want the same thing. But this person's taking their own time. And you, on the other hand, Taurus, you've come up to a realization, okay? You're out of isolation. You've done, you you realize some facts are clear to you for, for the reason where you went within, for that soul searching. And now you want an ace of wands. You want a brand new beginning with this person. This person's healing your Taurus just for your information. They don't hate you, but they're healing. Queen of Cups. Queen of, Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. Okay, so that's like a true pair. You know, you're both in your masculine energy. Okay. All right. Uh, clarify the um. Uh, clarify the nine of cups. Someone's going after their wish fulfillment, and they're no longer wanting to hold back. All right. Clarify the two of cups in reverse. See, there's so much love. This person sees you as their happily ever after. This person sees you as their end or the all. Okay. But they're feeling this disconnection. Maybe they feel that there's going to be a very big issue if you guys come, come together. Or they're just very unsure about whether you're even going to be able to come together with this person. Taurus, you could have done, you could have fucked things up with this person, okay? Because why this person has the three of swords and the person on their side. They're pretty hurt about whatever has happened, okay? Why is the sun here? They want happiness with you. Again, they want, they have so much love. But they're choosing to suppress their emotions is what I'm getting. Why is the sun here? It's like one way this person and their emotions, they're trying to see things from a very optimistic view. They're trying to keep a very lighthearted approach. They're trying not to take things, take things very seriously. But with the two of cups in reverse, I mean, I'm feeling this person, cares, this person loves you, but they can come up as the king of swords. That's their front. Okay, that's their front, but beneath. Why is the sun here? You're both fooling each other. You're both fooling each other. Why is the devil in reverse here? You are ready to release any toxicity. You've been illuminated to a fact, Taurus, is what I'm getting. You probably even realize the reason for the disconnection, okay? Whatever. With the devil here in reverse, I think you could have had some kind of predictions, obsessions. This could be ego. This could be you very driven by ego. This could be a negative pattern. This could be fear of something, okay? Fear of commitment, fear of being in a serious relationship, whatever it is, right? But you are illum you've illuminated to a fact. You have like this epiphany. I think the hermit, I think you went into isolation, Taurus. It has done very good to you. I think you've done a good job with that isolation, taking away that time out, okay? And now, you're illuminated to a fact. You know what was actually between you guys. 
you actually realize then where the fault was. And I think Taurus, it was you probably who was at fault here, okay? But with the devil in reverse, you're ready to release um, anything that was toxic, anything that was unhealthy, or ready to, re ready to release a negative thought pattern, okay? Again, I'm saying it this again and again. There is a lot of love here, okay? But this illumination with a sun your Taurus in your emotions, that's, that's the good part here. This person, page of pentacles in reverse, why? Why is this person the page of pentacles in reverse in their emotions? Why is the page of pentacles in reverse? High priestess in reverse. This person is this time. I have a king of cups here, okay? So you could be dealing with a water sign. It doesn't have to be. But I think this person usually... If you're with a high priestess, right, this is someone who is very psychic, okay, this could be a healer that you're dealing with, a light worker, but someone whose intuition is on point, okay, they're always trusting their intuition. Maybe their intuition is telling them to message you, to talk to you, to make a move forward, right, but this time they're trusting their logic. They're trusting their logic, they're finding it very hard to trust their intuition this time, okay, probably, because look, for the page of pentacles in reverse here, this person is constantly putting things on hold. Okay, this is the lot of this is extreme manipulation. Again, this person loves you a lot, but they're purposely putting things on hold. They're purposely not doing anything about it. It's like the standstill is from their part more so than from your part. Okay, they know they want to. They know they want to, but they're they're just not making that move. High pieces in reverse, trusting and logical intuition could be listening to a lot of other people's opinions. But I'm getting that this is someone, you know, who's just like choosing to trust their head this time and not their emotions or not their gut. Why is the high priestess in reverse? Emperor. This person is wanting to take control of the situation, okay, and set boundaries is what I'm getting. Either this person earlier probably you could have crossed this person's boundaries okay and things would have just gone like um, out of control uh, you know there was a lack of control of the situation and boundaries were crossed okay but this time this person is wanting to use their logic it is probably when they trusted their intuition and their gut someone was they were taken advantage of and now with the her, this person is like i said right they have their rules and regulations they're going to teach you how they need to be treated and that's one of the reasons why you went into hermit mode, okay? Because this person could have just let you go. Yeah, but in their emotions, they're holding back. They want something stable. They want to start. They want to have some sensible communication with you, right? But they're holding back. Again, with the emperor here, this is a, someone hard to budge. Very hard to budge. They want rule, strict orders. I think this person could also be wanting something very stable, something committed, okay? And it's like, I don't get what I want, you're out. You're out, Taurus. No matter what you try, I don't think that this person's going to let you in because in their mind, they're the emperor. That's a very, very stubborn energy. Not egoic, but stubborn energy, okay? Someone who knows their worth value, but at the same time, someone who, and they're in their masculine energy, for God's sake. So this is someone who's like, let hell break loose. I know what I want and I'm going to get it. And if I don't get what I want, I'm okay with it. Okay, I'm okay with it, but I'm not going to let my boundaries down. I'm not going to let my guard down and let you in again, is what I'm feeling. Why is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse here? The Ace of Pentacles in reverse fell out. Why is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse here? Ace of Cups in reverse. So, yeah. Someone's feeling very, very codependent, okay, on the other person, but with the Ace of Cups in reverse, so you're both shut down. What the fuck? How do we move a relationship forward like this? You're not talking. They're not talking. You're, you're suppressing your emotions. They're suppressing their emotions. It's like you're both just... This is, this is a charade. This is a drama, okay? It's like a soap opera. You both, I mean, Ace of Cups in reverse, that's a lot of disappointment, okay? It's like, yes, you're codependent, you want this person, you want, you're not. One person is now ready to be in a relationship, okay? That one person really misses the other person, which I'm getting Taurus. I'm getting you because of the cards that I see. Again, feel free to flip the energies, okay? Don't put it down in the comments below. So yeah, I feel Taurus, I'm going to look at this as you. You're the one who's now realizing you're ready to release your demons, okay? You've come out of the hermit 
that more you illuminated to the fact of what actually went wrong within the relationship or where you were wrong. You won't be in this relationship with this person, okay? But with the Ace of Cups in reverse here, you're not sure if this person's wanting to take you back or this person is just, they've just shut the door on your face and they're not opening up emotionally to you, okay? They're not wanting to be vulnerable. Or it could also be you who wants this, but you're not wanting to be vulnerable. Like, oh my God, like, I've realized, like, what the hell, I did. I know I messed up. Now what? How do I get, how do I get this person back? Why the Knight of Swords in reverse? Why is the Knight of Swords in reverse? Four of Cups. Fear of rejection. Yeah, see? See? I was almost getting that with the two of cups in reverse. Because there's so much love, what would be the reason of not wanting and approaching the other person, right? Fear of rejection. You're fearing rejection. You don't know that after you mess things up, you don't know if this person's going to take you back or not. It is on your mind. It is on your mind. You want this beginning with this person. You want to communicate very clearly, okay? You want to speak your heart out. Okay? You're, you're lacking confidence. Why is the four of cups here? Why is the four of cups here? Four of wands in reverse. Because the situation lacks a lot of st instability and insecurity. Either this person that you're dealing with, there's a lot of instability and insecurity that this person brings with them. Or with the four of wands in reverse here, you feel this person shut the door on your face. You feel this person's just never ever going to get in. I think this is you who was assuming a lot. Okay, they have eight of swords on their on, on, on their side, but I think it's also you. You feel they're gonna reject you, but actually, because I'm showing you the cards, right? They're not gonna reject you. Yes, they're just going to be a little stubborn and they have healthy boundaries. But yeah, if you're going to come into them, correct? I don't think this person's going to reject you. They have the ace of pentacles for God's sake in their attitude. That's your attitude here. Why is the ace of pentacles here? Have the Ace of Pentacles. Have the Ace of Pentacles. Same page of Pentacles in reverse. This person. You both want it. You're both just holding back. You have fear of rejection. This person is not sure if they want to pursue this, okay? Or they probably want you to come in correct with the Emperor here. They want you to make that boss move. They want you to step up the game and come up to them correct, okay? With that commitment, with that stability, with that growth, with that dependability. They want you to come towards them with something very sincere. And that you're not doing only because of fear. Taurus. Fear has no logic. Just saying. Anytime you find yourself fearing something, just try and ask what's the logic. I mean, what what's the logic? Why would you fear something before it's even happened? Hmm. All right, clarify the page of pentacles in the verse. They're holding back a lot. Why is the page of pentacles in the verse? Knight of swords. Because I think this person is trying to avoid a. I think this person is trying to avoid an argument, okay, with the knight of swords here. They want to like, literally lash out on you. This person has so much to say, so much to complain, so much to fight an argument in a good, lovey dovey way. But it's like they're so frustrated because they're just waiting for you to come, okay? So I think with the helmet here, you, take, you took a lot of time before you approach this person. And you still are, you're still holding back. You're still holding back because you think they've shut the door. But actually, the door's open. In fact, a brand new one. But you need to make that effort. You need to. How are you going to know if something's going to work out or not till you don't try? Right? And seriously, Taurus, failure is much more better than regret. Okay? You don't want to live in regret all your life that I should have, would have, could have. Okay? I mean, that's worse. You'd rather try and have get rejected. Four of cups is then that then that's just a lot of ego. Okay, you just feel oh like you could have rejected this person a hundred million times. That's the reason. That's one of the reasons why this person is so shut off. If you're telling me that oh you didn't do anything, I don't know whoever did this, right? This person out here is so fucking hurt. It's so hurt. This person feels cheated, betrayed, etc. They're shut off for a reason, okay? And one of the reasons could be that they could have, you know, you could have rejected them over and over and over again. And now that they're shut off and they have their guards down, now you're the one who needs to approach them, okay? But then now you're feeling, I mean, what if they reject you? See how it feels when you try to reject the other person, right? 
But with the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles, this person could rush you. They could rush in now. Okay, they would want this new beginning with you now, but they're holding back. Again, I'm getting this person wants you to make a proper approach towards them, not something immature. But I think you're not even opening up. You're not even opening up. Seriously, Taurus, this is self sabotage. This is absolutely sabotage in the connection. See, that's why with the Ten of Wands here, it's going to be a big, huge burden. It's going to stress and overwhelm you both. Why is the Ten of Wands here as the or as the likely outcome? Wants in the world here. Either, I don't know. I don't know. Taurus. Alright, let's get this thing straight. But the enough wants in the world here as a likely outcome, if you're not going to make that note, they're definitely, they, they want this with you. I'm just going to make it very clear to you. They want this with you. Okay, of course, it's a general reading, so it may not, may not resonate according to your own story. I don't know. But this person wants it with you, okay? They would want you to rush in now or they want to rush in and talk towards you, but they're holding back because they want you to become the emperor and they want you to come towards them with that. They want you to level up, okay? And they want you to take control of the situation in a very mature way. You, on the other hand, you're just constantly thinking about it, but you're not moving forward. Your attitude is a knight of swords and it was with the four of cups. It's like fear and rejection. If you're going to continue this, Taurus, it's going to be a very stressful situation. It's going to drain the both of you out, and I think in the world, your things are going to end between you guys. So, Taurus, I don't know. I, I, I've, I've, I've given you all the information that you need. So, if you need to make a move, if this is you, Taurus, or if this is Crosswatcher, whoever this resonates with, the one who is fearing rejection, the one who's holding back only because you're fearing rejection and you feel this person shut the door on your face, they haven't. They haven't. They're just wanting you to come towards them in a very logical way, in a very uh, mature way and want, they just want what they want. They just want that commitment, they want that stability, they want you to approach them correctly. If you don't, it's going to be a very draining situation because this person's almost very close to giving up, okay? the ten of wands here. It's been a long tiring road for these guys. Okay, you could have been in a very long term in a in a long term commitment for this person. Not commitment, but you could have been in a in a situation or whatever, right? You guys have come along a long time. I mean it's like all the illumination, you have all the realization out here, whoever resonates with this side. A four of cups fear of rejection stopping you, it's really not worth it. You need to ask yourself, is it worth losing this relationship? So that's what I have for you, Taurus. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.